Everyone knows what Minecraft is. If you don't, why are you here? I've got a long history with Minecraft. Back when I was 14 and had nothing interesting going on in my life at all, I'd play it almost every day after school with my brother. We'd mostly just go on servers like Hypixel and play survival games, hide and seek, spleef, etc, etc. I was never good at them, but it was fun nonetheless. And what else was I gonna do? read but one day my computer broke and i couldn't play minecraft for like a week or something and like some sort of addict i was frantically thinking like oh man how wh how am i gonna get my minecraft fix a week without minecraft i'd rather die right now so in a random act of desperation what i did was type minecraft into youtube when i was 10 i would type in funny pokemon into the search bar and that would entertain me for hours so i was like oh this might work but ironically uh typing minecraft into youtube is what made me realize YouTube was more than just random videos you can share with your friends to try and make them laugh and think you're cool. It's got channels and subscriptions and most importantly, people played Minecraft on it. I started going down the rabbit hole of Minecraft YouTubers, then gaming YouTubers, then animation YouTubers, skipping many important details and jumping to many conclusions. Minecraft is what got me here today. And I think it's a crime I've never even beaten the game before. But I decided that had to change. I decided I finally wanted to beat Minecraft after all these years. Out of respect. However, being honest, I haven't played the game in six years. And I also didn't think doing it by myself would be a very fun video. Not only would it be me running around doing nothing productive, but it would also be me running around doing nothing productive for 10 hours straight. So I decided to ask Call Me Carson if he wanted to help me. He plays Minecraft a lot and I think he's really funny and he streams on Twitch. So I figured if he streamed it, I wouldn't be wasting his time as much. <laughs> uh, that was a big one. For some reason he said sure. So we hopped into a new world together and um, this is what happened. We spawn into the world and to our surprise and luck, there's a village right next to us. So we were chatting and in the middle of raiding it when oh. the only reason why. Did you finish college? No, I went for one year and then, ah. Oh. Wait, you went for one year? Yep, it only took me three minutes to die which is what I expected. After getting some loot, we decided to start looking around more. That was, uh... Oh, oh, shit. oh yeah, there's a big ravine down there. I'd be careful. You don't want to fall or ah, anything. stop! It was an accident. Well, at least you have the book. Oh. Yes, I have the book safe in my hands. After that spectacular display of skill from both of us, we decided to hole up at the bottom of the ravine for the night and start mining. Then I won't be wasting his time as much. Mmm, that's a way of thinking. Yeah. You're a little just, thinker, aren't you? <laughs> you know me, thinking. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's that was way easier than it should have been. There's some diamond what? down here. What? Are you joshing me? I'm not joshing you. Well, it's not. Oh, whoa, lava. whoa, don't do that. Don't do that. In fact, could you just go back? Just go, like, cook something. <laughs> no, I, I don't mean that in, like, a stereotype way, okay? Yeah. I bet, you know what? I have a plan. What's your if plan? If we can jump into the spider web, we can probably. Oh, that's such an awful have idea. Enough time to put blocks down before we. If you, if you want to do that, be my guest. Uh, I should probably go cook something. Yeah, I think you might want to go cook something. <laughs> well, both my mom and my dad are from Canada, actually. Cool, and cool. I was born in... Basically, Carson found multiple pockets of diamonds in the first 20 minutes of us starting the game. I knew he was the right person for the job to carry me to victory while I did literally nothing of use. We kept on our way getting more supplies with riveting conversation to go along with it. How's your life been during quarantine? <laughs> what? That's a good question. How's, uh, how are things? <laughs> <clears throat> so what do you like the most about being you? Carson's gathered enough obsidian to build a nether portal at this point, and as we were making last minute preparations, we had a fun conversation about identity crisis and fearing we're losing our understanding of who we are as people.
Do you ever feel like since we put so much of ourselves in our content that you've lost yourself in the process? Yeah, sometimes I'm scared to work on myself because I'm scared of who I would be once I change. And then I fell. Still not the ah! oh, Don't I'm, die. I, I'm in the darkness. And with that, into the nether we go. Oh. Rare color in the in the. Hey, so don't what? don't walk out immediately. Um. We spawned in the worst biome. Lava? Don't stand on that. It's a magma cube. If you stand on it, you start you start getting hurt. Okay. Um, so we, yes. So Ow. yeah. So <laughs> like like what okay. I just said. I didn't think that. <laughs> right. So this really is the just worst. Spawned in the middle of lava. Yeah. No. This is absolutely the worst. Carson was really trying to speed through and get out of the nether as soon as possible because he said he absolutely hates it. So I tried to lighten the mood and stay positive, <laughs> but that didn't really work. For you're frantically just like, D -d -d let's, let's just go. Let's I, go. Listen, I I hate this place. Like when I when I've been in the new nether, I've been like, damn, this place really sucks my nards, dude. You know. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about it? Favorite thing about the nether? Yeah. There is no. <gasps> oh, look out! Look out! Oh, I'm running. I hate this place. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. So yeah, Carson was right. This place sucks. But anyway, we kept on our way trying to find the Nether Fortress, and to be frank, things did not start getting any better. Like the breadwinner. Why is that what it's called? Isn't it when people were really poor back in like the 1700s? That's like. Ah! I'll Why'd be back. You... Oh, we are in luck, Jaden. Look over there. Oh, there it is. We got another fortress. That's very cool. I don't think I have enough blocks to get over there. No, probably not. Um. I mean, we could just like get this and then go over. Yeah, yeah that's that's that was what I was gonna suggest. Oh. What happened? I don't have a pickaxe anymore. Here. Oh, thanks. No problem. You're so prepared. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we get to the fortress finally, and you'd think that just entering the thing would be easy enough. But when Carson told me to mine up into it, I misunderstood that as mine straight up and just went up without making a staircase like a selfish idiot. So instead of us just entering the fortress, this sequence of events ended up happening. Build up? Uh, mine up. Mine up? Okay. Yeah. I'm so confused. Where's your staircase? So, oh, did you want a staircase? Yeah, so that then I could also get up. It's cool. I get it. I'm coming down for you. Thanks. <laughs> oh. Do you know how to get Don't back? <laughs> yeah. That's good. I've done this once before. <laughs> Do you need anything while I'm out? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I keep thinking I can survive falling from very tall heights. This is the third time I've not learned my lesson when it comes to fall damage. So as I start running back to the fortress, Carson starts gathering the blaze rods we need. I eventually made it back, but after a few minutes of fighting, we get in a little bit over our heads. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Actually, that's not good. Oh, I'm so dead. Are you dead? Yeah. It's okay. We run back to get our stuff before it despawns, hide in a little safe area, and start reorganizing our stuff. <laughs> I also put, to put torches so we wouldn't get lost. Great. Well... Fuck it! Now run! <laughs> this is going great. <laughs> Here's this. Eventually, we only need one or two blaze rods left, so Carson decides it's safer to split up and have me get the rods back home to safety so he can get the last ones without fear of losing all our progress. Could you do me a huge favor and just bring those back home to yeah. safety? Can I won't it... die. Against everyone's better judgment, I made it back. So great, finally we've got all the blaze rods and all we really need to do now is get ender pearls to find the stronghold and gather feathers to make a bunch of arrows. Since it was daytime, we decided to start with the feathers. You think we Lots, need we need many arrows to shoot at the ender dragon 
in his Maybe uh, I crystals. Have bred the chickens instead no, of killed no, the only no. two around. No, no, no. Yeah, I think like of course I respect don't, and like okay. look up to oh my gosh. what. I was going to bring it back so we can breed. You said we don't need to breed them. It was a joke, <laughs> and I moved well, on. <laughs> <laughs> so the hunt for feathers continued, and before I knew it, I wandered off too far while chasing chickens and realized I was lost in the middle of the woods. You know, like a child. So, uh, would you do you know how to pull up your coordinates? That's one of the F buttons, right? It's F three. Oh, we can we can talk about the coordinates. Oh my god, you're so smart. Yeah, so if you go to negative 24, 300, you're going to find the ravine. Okay, I think I'm going in the right direction now. I'm at 700. What? I got back, don't worry. I figured it out. And like that, we were back on track, trying to find the pearls. It was taking a long time, but since he was streaming, Carson's chat kept us pretty entertained. Oh, and someone in the chat just said, I dropped the bookshelf on my pet rat. I cried for five days. Oh no. <laughs> That's a lot of damage for a rat. <laughs> I'm sorry about your pet rat, but also kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, we'd been really struggling to get the ender pearls. We'd been hunting for about an hour and a half now and decided we needed to switch up methods. Carson tried to trade gold with the piglins, which wasn't working, but then he had an idea. Maybe we should but there's also a, a type of biome in the nether that spawns a lot of endermen that's a blue forest. Oh, well, let's go there. Well... Uh I mean, what? it's it's easier said than done. Despite Carson's caution, we decided we might as well go back into the nether and just see if we can find the biome, which is called the Warped Forest. I looked it up. How Look at them. He... They're like the guards of the... Oh, well, he's dead. Yeah, just ignore all these guys. Just, like, run past them. Like oh, how I did. You're on fire. Don't talk about it. Pat <laughs> on the back for that oh, one. Careful. Careful's my middle name. Oh! <gasps> I see blue fire. That's promising. Is that I think. good? I think so. Spoiler, the blue fire was not what we were looking for. It was a completely different biome, and we went in the wrong direction. We were searching for a pretty big chunk of time and even tried to trade with the piglins once more out of pure desperation, which, big surprise, didn't work. But just when we least expected it... Oh wait, I think I found the blue biome. No, you did not. There's got some blue trees. What? Really? Oh no, this is it, this is it. Hey! So I finally did something of use after all. And only three hours and 20 minutes in. We started hunting Endermen, but I think this clip describes our luck and how that all went. Oh, there's two. Yo. Double trouble. Oh, there's both after you. Are you kidding? <laughs> well. That sucks. That sucks. 30 minutes and 20 Endermen later, we had all the pearls we need, so we head off to try and find our way back home, which was very hard because we traveled a pretty long distance to the forest and were semi-lost for a while. But then... Um, okay. Oh. Oh, my torches! Your torches! They did something! Damn, I... When you put, put those torches there, I legitimately thought, you know, I don't think those will ever come in use. <laughs> And now, look who was the stupid one. Back at the base, we started making the final preparations we needed before we set off to find the stronghold and fight the dragon. Oh, that's actually sick. After getting as prepared as we could be with enchantments and new armor, we set off to go beat the game. Let's throw one eye bender. Okay. That way. This way. Oh, it looks like we're going to be hitting up the ocean into boat. Hop in. This I is hear. my sweet ride, my Lamborghini. Boat Lamborghini. And after hitting many lily pads along the way, we finally arrive at this area in some grassy hills. We dug down a bit, and not only was Carson able to find the stronghold, but he also found the portal room almost immediately. Yeah, I found it. What, really? Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> What, did it scare you? Did it scare you? I heard the sound and then a zombie came out. Now that we were both here, we put our extra stuff in the chest, reset our spawn with a bed, and we're pretty much ready to go. All right. Well. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. This is not, in. this is not too shabby. Uh, let's go up this way. All right. 
I'm going to start shooting these guys. Can you shoot the ones through the, the iron bars? You can from like beneath. So like if I come up here like this. Oh, I got you. Oh, sh oh, sh oh, sh what? Nothing. Ow, ow, ow. Ah! Oh, God. I'm up in the air. Oh, uh, all right. Just run back in. You'll be good. Huh. Fine. So we can start killing the dragon now. It is just. Ah! Whoa. Okay. No. I did oh not quite God, get it. I Yo, I want you to be the. I want you to be the final hit. Really? Yes. This I'm is your really first time. Yeah. Right yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry about him. I got him. You can get him right now from the side. Whoa. Ah! <laughs> You're good, you're good. He's like one hit left. I need to, I can't take another one. You're good, you're good, you'll get him. I, uh, oh, I did it You did it, you did it. One more hit, one more hit. How long is he gonna shoot down? I don't know, he's, I think he just wants to chill. <laughs> you're good, you're good. <laughs> At this point, Carson is just watching me get tossed around by the dragon. And I, I just thought that was hilarious, but I digress. Oh, he's oh, coming God. down. It's time, okay. Oh, you got him. Oh. Good job. Warm well, good job. Good job, us. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting hurt. I'm getting hurt. That's awesome. Let's take the egg. Uh, I mean, you could... Yeah. Wait, that's not how it works, right? Um, I mean, you can try. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> so we did it we ended up beating minecraft in about four hours and 40 minutes we worked really hard and i think we made a really great and balanced team carson found 23 diamonds got all the obsidian built the nether portal got most if not all the blaze rods gathered 11 out of the 14 ender pearls we had found the stronghold and the end portal destroyed all the end crystals and did most of the damage on the dragon and i died six times got 71 bread found the warped forest got lost multiple times and hit the dragon in three times up high this was a lot of fun i didn't know what to expect going into it but i honestly had a great time and i'm proud to say i've beaten minecraft now with a little help i want to say a huge thanks to carson for agreeing to this i'm not lying when i say i couldn't have done it without him well i, I mean i might have but this worked so much better. So you should definitely go check him out on YouTube and Twitch. I genuinely think he's a really great dude. And yeah, thanks for watching. Nice. Cool. We did it. Let's do it Bro. again. <laughs> it was fun playing Minecraft again. Like I said, the last time I remember actually playing it was 2014, which is coincidentally when I started my YouTube channel. It's not a coincidence. It's hard evidence I would not be a YouTuber if Minecraft didn't exist or if my computer never exploded. Makes you think, huh? Anyway, thanks for watching. If you missed it, there's new merch on my shop if you're interested. Yeah, bye-bye.